everyone? Welcome back to my channel. First, I want to say thank you for all of your nice comments and likes on my last meal prep video. That video got a lot more views than my other videos, so thank you so much for liking and commenting and watching my video. Today, I'm going to be washing and prepping my greens again, and I'm going to be answering some of your questions that you commented on my last meal prep video. I'm going to be showing you how I prep and store my lettuce and kale so that it lasts an entire week. Actually, it lasts more like 10 days, almost two weeks sometimes. Um, so I'm going to show you how I store my veggies so that they maximize their lifespan. The reason why I prep so many greens is because both me and my boyfriend are both plant-based and we make a salad pretty much every day. So we eat a lot of lettuce and every day I put either kale or collard greens in my smoothie. So that's why I prep all these greens ahead of time so that during, during the week I can just put them in whatever recipes I need. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. I make plant-based recipes, meal preps, grocery hauls. So make sure you like and subscribe and let's just hop into this recipe. I mean, video tutorial. Before we begin our prep, this is what's left over from last week and I just wanted to show you how fresh the veggies stay in these containers. I think the key to my veggie prep success lately is these containers. These are seriously magical containers. You don't need these containers. Like you can use a lot of other things to store your leafy greens in, but these, I got them from TJ Maxx for only like $8 and they had like so many different sizes and stuff. These containers keep my veggies fresher than anything I've tried before. I replied to a lot of people about this, but I think the key to these um, containers is that it's not like a completely shut seal like it just rests on top of here and it allows some like airflow so this is what I have left over from last week and I just wanted to show you how fresh they are I did my last veggie prep on Sunday and it's Sunday today so this is exactly a week old and like this lettuce is just perfectly crisp still um, and by now it's like dried completely but when I put it in here as you guys saw in my last video it was slightly wet like I didn't dry it completely I do that because it helps keep the lettuce really crisp like this so yeah this is what I'm gonna be using to store my leafy greens in this week I'm just gonna like transfer these before I bought these I used a big container like this I just got these from the 99 cent store but like as you can see like this is a completely closed seal so I would, if I were using something like this, I would put a paper towel on the bottom. You can also just use like a huge gallon Ziploc bag. I've used that in the past and same thing, if I were using that, I'd put a paper towel in it to like soak up the extra moisture so they don't get super soggy. Anyways, let's get into today's meal prep. I'll show you what I bought first of all. Okay, so here is a little produce haul, actually kind of a big produce haul. The farmer's market, I go to this, the only organic stand at the farmer's market, they didn't have everything I was looking for. I went to a grocery outlet and I got some more stuff. I got two kale, two lettuce, and then I usually buy two more collard greens, but they didn't have collard greens. I got the most beautiful, delicious tasting carrots. They have the best carrots there. A beautiful purple cabbage. This might last me like two weeks. Some cucumbers. I put this in the fridge when I got home, so that's why it's looking a little like moist. Sugar snap peas, I absolutely love those. I will devour those in like one sitting. Then over here from Grocery Outlet, I got some baby bok choy. I love baby bok choy because it has a much more mild flavor. It's super easy to run through a juicer um, and I'll put it in smoothies like a stir fry. It is very versatile. So I got two of these from Grocery Outlet. I do feel bad about the plastic. I got these organic cherry tomatoes from Grocery Outlet. I am a tomato fiend. Is that the right word? I absolutely love tomatoes. I could demolish this within one single sitting. Then I got a couple of avocados, some mini peppers. This is a huge thing of broccoli. I also love broccoli. Bananas, which I put in my smoothie. The one thing I forgot to buy is mushrooms. I also have a bunch of onions. Also, once again, like I told you in the last video, I have a bunch of frozen fruit that I put in smoothies and I have a stockpile of nuts and seeds. Let's get into the prepping because this is like a super long intro. First, I always cut the ends off of my lettuce. 
I take the bottoms and any outer leaves that don't look very good like this, put them in my compost bin. I have one of those tumbling composters and that thing turns into compost so quickly. I'll take these ends and like the outer leaves stick them aside so that I have like a nice pile while I'm doing my prep. I also cut the ends off of the kale because this is really tough and you can't really eat it anyways so I just compost those. I also got a lot of questions and comments about my fruit and veggie wash. I buy this at Trader Joe's and this bottle lasts like an entire year because every time I use it, I just use a couple drops and that's all you need. But I wanted to show you the ingredients. It has purified water, natural cleansing agents derived from coconut oil and corn oil, grapefruit seed extract, lemon orange extract. So it is very natural from what I can tell. I just really like using it because I feel like it cleans really well and it lasts like super long and it's pretty cheap, it's like a couple bucks. But if I don't use this, I also use white vinegar. Um, that works pretty well, but the thing with vinegar is I was finding that I would go through it like super fast And I was just buying it like all the time, but with this you only need like a couple drops And I spray it with the sprayer so that it gets super sudsy And I fill the water maybe like halfway. Um, someone else commented that I need to like use less water and I really try, I feel bad like letting the water run so much. I only fill it up like halfway to like soak the veggies, just enough to like cover them. Um, and then I rinse them off. This is just the method that I do, that I found works the best and is the quickest. Then I will go rinse them off. And this only takes a couple of seconds when I'm just doing it by myself. And you can like grab a couple at a time and just rinse them all off like this. And then, like I showed you in my last video, I put them on a drying rack um, and they kind of dry off a little bit. So this is how the water looks. It is quite dirty. We got some aphids down there. I'm gonna take this water and dump it outside to water my plants, my lemon tree. My fig tree is looking a little sad. The leftover dirt. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing with all of my romaine lettuce. And I try to be really gentle so I don't break them because then I feel like it doesn't last as long. Okay, so this water is looking real dirty. I'm gonna take this outside again and water another tree. Water my beautiful lemon tree. I'm gonna wash all of this baby bok choy. Bok choy usually has dirt like down in the base. I'm just gonna th throw these carrots in here. And I don't eat the carrot tops. I know there's stuff you can do with it, but I just put it in my compost. I forgot to mention in my last video, after I wash my carrots, I just kind of like wash them like this, and then I'll do a little rinsey rinse. Aren't these so beautiful? Fresh from the farm. I will take a towel and I'll just rub them with a cloth to get any more like dirt off. And then I feel like I don't even need to peel them because at this point they're like really clean. I forgot to show this in my last video, but I do scrub them down a bit more. And now I feel like they are squeaky clean. Let's go water another plant. Okay, this is my bougainvillea. I don't know how you say it. It's looking pretty sad. I don't know. I bought him like a year ago and he is very sad. I don't know how to make him happy. The carrots were super dirty, look at that. Can you see that? I'm gonna wash this broccoli. They did have broccoli at the farmer's market, but it was $4 a pound. And this broccoli at grocery outlet was $1.49 a pound. So big difference. 
That's why I don't usually buy broccoli from the farmer's market. They didn't even have it at the organic stand. I, it was like unorganic broccoli for $4 a pound. So yeah, some stuff I don't like to buy from the farmer's market for that reason. This water is not super dirty, so I'm just gonna... I also got these organic peppers from Grocery Outlet. I just love being able to go in the fridge and like grab raw veggies. If I have to like wash them, then I, during the week, I just like won't eat them because it's like the extra step. I just love to have everything prepped. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Ooh, this one's looking a little rotten. Ooh. I feel like these mini peppers are hit or miss. Sometimes I pop them open and they have like mold inside of them. This, ooh, this one's rotten too. Give them a little hose down. Okay. Let's just throw these tomatoes in. I'm gonna rinse them off anyways, so it's okay if the water is not clean. Do a little scrub scrub. And I'm just gonna rinse them off because this water's kind of dirty. Okay, dump this in my garden, but I'm not gonna take you with me because that's a lot of work. The last thing I'm gonna do is wash off these. And I'm gonna rinse off the cabbage. So here's my containers. I just rinsed them out and dried them off. Um, here is my washed lettuce, except it seems like I missed a spot. I like to line it up so that I can fit a lot more in at once. Line them up like this. Someone said put a paper towel in and I think that was great advice. I do usually do this. I just kind of forgot. Put this in, put this in this way. This is the leftover bunch that I have from last week. On to the next one. And same thing with the kale. It is just still slightly moistened, as you can see. Not completely dry. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna move it all over here. I'm trying to flatten them all out. It fits perfectly, actually. And I have to make sure I use these collard green leaves. So, put those on top. I'm gonna just break this up so I can fit it in a container. I don't have a container, another container for these, so I'm gonna use this bag. I feel like some people really hate plastic bags. I like to dry off the tomatoes before I put them in their container so they're not like soaking wet. I love tomatoes. I just put them in this glass container. A lot of people also, like I said in my last video, store their tomatoes on the countertop, but I like to put them in the fridge. I have these tomatoes that I bought a couple days ago. I am a tomato addict, so many tomatoes. Next, for these, I put them in this container. Look, I think they're all gonna fit. Last week, I cut some of these up into carrot strips so I could eat some as a snack. And I think I'm gonna do that again. Carrots, put these in here. And I saw on TikTok that if you fill them up with some water, they will stay really fresh. So I just put a little bit of water in. This is my carrot collection from last week. They stay super fresh in here. I pour a little bit of water in it so that they stay crisp. Otherwise they'll like dry out and get kind of like floppy. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna add these to my carrot collection. I like to cut the top off so that they are a little bit smaller and I will kind of put them towards the bottom. And I add carrots to a lot of recipes, like soups and stuff like that. Um, I'll like shred them up and put them on a salad. So that's why I always like to have a lot of carrots. And these ones from the farmer's market are so good lately. Okay, I also have these peppers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry these off. I have this reusable bag. 
They are so colorful. I'm gonna shred up half of this and then save the other half. Cabbage will last a really long time shredded up. And it's just easier to like throw it on my salad when it's already pre-shredded. Carrots you can also shred up. Um, sometimes I'll run them through the food processor and with the shredding attachment. Um, and they will also last a really long time. But I just don't feel like getting out the food processor. Let's stick it in here. I bought some new containers from Big Lots. Here is my finished veggie prep. I can't believe I prepped all of these veggies. This is so much. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll show you guys my fridge organization. This is my compost pile. In the morning, I'm gonna go put this in my compost. Um, I like to like chop it up a little bit more sometimes so that it breaks down faster. I put the half of the cabbage in this bag. Um, I've just been reusing this bag like week after week so it doesn't go to waste. And then I also put away these cucumbers and I'll probably leave it open like this so that it doesn't get like too wet in there. And here is my finished produce food prep for the week. Wow, so pretty. So this is just my produce prep. I'm going to tomorrow do a huge like cooked food prep and I'm gonna film it so I'll post it um, next week or later on this week. We have our cabbage, snap peas, um, carrots, and cabbage and I just love the way it looks like against the drawer and then our broccoli in here. And then over here are the peppers, cucumbers, down here is like miscellaneous items. I have a whole bunch of tofu. I'm thinking about prepping some tofu this week. All of my tomatoes and carrots and then some LaCroix. And then there's actually some meals that I prepped and we never ate. I was gonna stick those in the freezer. This is my completed veggie prep for this week. I expect everything to last at least a week. Okay, so it is now 11 days from when I first prepped and stored these and I wanted to give an update on how well the greens held up over time using my storage and wash methods. <laughs> um, so this is the kale and I actually have a lot left over this week because I did not make that many smoothies this week. Some of the pieces are still like perfectly beautiful dark green like fresh. It's like you just picked these. Um, most of them look really good. They don't get slimy or mushy at all like a lot of people commented. They hold up beautifully. Like this one looks like it was just picked from the earth. <laughs> um, but some of them will start to get yellow. Like they don't get really slimy or mushy. They will turn yellow and then that's when I know they're like almost at their last ends. <laughs> And they don't smell at all. Like, you know how kale, sometimes if you buy it bagged, it will have that like really strong, gross, like dirty sock odor. This doesn't smell at all. I did my last veggie wash prep on Sunday and it is now Wednesday. So like two Wednesdays from when I last washed these. I didn't go to the farmer's market this past week because I still had like a lot of leafy greens and veggies left over. So um, yeah, and then this is this lonely bok choy leftover that I didn't eat. I will still eat this, but um, it doesn't get mushy. It actually, the opposite happens. It starts to get kind of dry and wilted. And then I didn't show this at the beginning of my video, but I had some extra leaves that wouldn't fit in my container. So I put them in this bag and I want to show you how they held up. I didn't put a paper towel in here, but I probably, I should have done that to absorb the extra moisture. But this is how the lettuce has held up. Most of it still looks like beautifully fresh, like still edible. Like these pieces aren't even like bad at all. But um, they will start to turn brown and this like pinkish color on the bottoms. And then some of the outer leaves get the worst discolored. But yeah, this is how they held up after 11 days. Also picking them fresh from the farmer's market, I feel like definitely helps because um, most groceries that you get from the store, like they might've already been sitting there for a while. So probably getting them fresh from the farmer's market also helps. It's day 11 and I feel like I could even keep these up until 14 days and they would still be good. Like I'll, I'm definitely gonna eat this within the next couple days, but I think they would last even longer. We'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.